Dr. Aisha Turak, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Engineering Physics. And I've joined the department quite recently uh, in 2012. My main interests are really in organic electronics. So we try to make the world better through plastic, which is the opposite of what everybody wants, right? You want to go away from plastics, but we're actually trying to use plastics in a cool, cool new way to make electronic devices, displays, and solar cells. That's the kind of thing that, that I like to work on. So our main focus is really on organic photovoltaic devices and on organic light emitting diodes. So these are, these are kind of flip sides of the same coin. So we, <clears throat> we either try to produce light from electricity or we try to use light to produce electricity. And that's one of the beautiful things about these organic systems is you can use sometimes the same material as the active semiconductor to do both of those, those things. Right? You can either use it to produce light or use it to, uh, to absorb light and then produce electricity. The essence of any good research project is always a, a question, right? It could be a technological problem, it could be something from industry, it could be just something that you're randomly interested in. But the first, you have to start off with, what do I want to accomplish? And the other thing that makes a good research project really is, um, <clears throat> is collaboration. You know, it's finding out that you have to do certain experiments and realizing that you're not, that you're only one person and you can't be an expert in everything. So you go out and find the people who know who know what to do and who know how to do it so you can get them to do the work for you and then you can all together make a major contribution. It is really one of the most welcoming and sort of fun departments that I've ever I've ever been exposed to. I went to school at Queens, I went to I did my undergrad at Queens, I went to my doctoral work at U of T and in both of those places there wasn't nearly the amount of of sort of collegiality and togetherness and interest that the that the department has. And it's because we're a small department. You know, when they first asked me that question in grade three, what are you going to do with your life? The first thing I said was, I'm going to become an engineer. The biggest hurdle for most women, and for, I mean, for most men, quite honestly, is not knowing uh, what it's all about or not seeing themselves in that position. So I think that it takes an environment where someone says to you, you can do it and it's, you're, you have a place here, that it's open to you. 